Well, welcome back to the kitchen. It's now the middle of October, so we're well into the autumn, and therefore we've been out picking the typical wild autumn crops that we can get at this time of the year. And uh, I have a tray here with some of the ones that I've been picking today. We've got crab apples here, uh, rose hips, hawberries, some elder. We're right at the end of the elder at the moment, uh, so not much to write home about that. And we've got uh, slows as well, being quite a good set of slows this year. Now, what we're going to do today is make hedgerow jelly. Now, basically, this takes all the autumn ingredients, plus also we've got a big pan of blackberries there as well. I'm going to be adding them all together to make a jelly, and this is what this video is all about. But just a couple of points to make about uh, producing hedgerow jelly. First of all, you're going to need a source of pectin, and on this tray here, the crab apples and the hawberries have a very high pectin content, so it's important that you get a, a fruit or berry into your um, jelly that does have pectin in, or else it won't set. But the blackberries, the elder, and uh, other juicy fruits provide you with a liquid which you need to boil the rest of the fruit in as well. You add a bit of water as well, but uh, have some fruit in which is full of liquid as well. So, if you want to make hedgerow jelly, this is what you need to do. Once you've stripped the, the leaves, get it all into the pan and then just add a little bit of water if you need it and then bring it up to the boil. This came up to the boil and we've simmered it now for about about two hours. We've added a little bit of water uh, to this as we've gone along, just to make sure that we've got it as this um, wet, sloppy pulp. And I reckon this will be ready in about ten minutes for straining. Well, it's now the day after, so this has been straining overnight, and as you can see, it's got a decent quantity of liquid. Well, once you've measured it, put it back in the jam pan. Well, once you've brought the liquid up to the boil, you then need to add sugar. You need to add, for every litre of liquid, one kilo of sugar. Well, our jelly's now um, reached its setting point. Uh, we've, um, after adding the sugar, we we boiled it and boiled it hard until it reaches its setting point. And I'll show you how to check for it. Um, this is a, a spoonful of the um, the liquid that I've put onto a plate, and as you can see, it's now set pretty hard, and it should actually produce quite a good jelly and good skin on it. So that is now ready to go into uh, some warm sterilised jars. show you what to do with the pulp that's left over after we strained everything. Now, uh, you could throw it out, which is an incredible waste, but we're actually going to make hedgerow butter with it. We're going to put it back in the jam pan, add a bit of water, reboil it, and then press it through a sieve. Well, this is what you get at the end of the process. Uh, an awful lot of elbow grease went into getting that. That's the paste or the fruit puree that is left at the end of it. Now this needs to be measured and then it goes back into the jam pan. And when it's reached boiling point and it's bubbling away, add in sugar. Uh, you'll need, as with the jelly, uh, it's one kilo of sugar for every litre of paste. You need to bring it back to the boil after you've um, added the sugar 
and uh, then you sort of at that point you're looking for the setting point. And as usual with um, uh, other jams, uh, you put a bit on a plate and check to see if it has formed a skin after a couple of minutes. And this one has. And yep, there we go. Uh, so that is now ready to go into sterilised jars. Well, we've made seven and a half jars of. Uh, hedgerow butter and uh, this is the um, half jar or three quarters jar more like it but as you can see it's still warm but it's set rather well and uh, it'll set even more solidly over the next few hours. Now you might have noticed we were using crab apples in that recipe and I have here a big jam pan full of uh, more of the crab apples that I picked the other day and in the next video, which we're just about to film, we're going to be showing you how to make crab apple jelly. So hopefully you'll join us for that. See you then.